Hello everyone, Alex with Beam It Up here. In our last video, we were piping a one bedroom apartment for domestic cold and hot water. It had a kitchen sink, a washer, and a bathroom group, which contains a lavatory, a toilet, and a tub shower. So we did come up with a small layout, right? A piping layout, but we didn't have time to pipe the water heater. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna pipe our water heater, we're gonna pipe to the main water riser of the building, and we're gonna provide some valves. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, type families, and we're gonna get deeper into that in other videos. Uh, it's gonna be a simple video. We're not gonna get into water heater heat traps or selecting the water heater or electrical. We'll leave that for another video. Uh, for now, let's uh, get into Revit and pipe that water heater. I'm gonna give you a couple of tips and tricks. See you in Revit. And before we even start, think about it, it makes sense. If you like this kind of content, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. You hit that bell so you get notifications. You don't miss any of our videos. Okay, so this is where we left off in the last video. I'm gonna open up my 3D view and I'm gonna split my screen with window tile, right? So last time we piped cold water and hot water to the mixing valve for the tub shower. There's a little toilet here, lavatory. We brought back our hot water to our water heater under our near handling unit. And then we had our washer with cold and hot water. And then we had cold and hot water to our kitchen sink. And finally a little drop here for our refrigerator, right? So that's the refrigerator here, that's the sink right here. So the last thing we have to do in domestic water for this little apartment is we definitely need to provide some isolation valves and finish piping the area of the water heater back to the main water riser. So the first thing we're going to do is to provide a couple of isolation valves. So as you can see, this is the main entrance of cold water into the apartment, right? Like everything cold water wise is being fed by this line, right? So we definitely need an isolation valve here for that we need to load our, our isolation valve family. So as you can see, if we go to pipe accessories, we don't have it here. So I know my line is one inch, right? So I'm gonna drag and drop my valve. It's gonna be a ball valve. And I know that the size is one inch. So select from here one inch. And then just place my valve here. As you can see, there's continuity in the system because it turned blue, which is the color of the cold water system. I just stretch a little bit more and now we need the inlet of our water heater. So the cold water inlet to the water heater is right here. So let's take it out. It's one and a quarter. The, the inlet is one and a quarter, but we don't need one and a quarter. So there's gonna be a little reducer here of the heater and then we can rise to a normal elevation maybe um, let's say uh, four feet and then we can turn this way to our riser right and we obviously need isolation valves here at the outlet of the water heater and at the inlet of the water heater so let's place those we can do create similar first we need to check our sizes because these valves are what they're called type family. So every size here is a different part, is a different type of a family. It won't flex with the pipe. Some valves do flex with the pipe. So if you have like a three quarter inch pipe or a one inch pipe and you come with the same valve, it will shrink or enlarge based on the pipe size. Those type of families use uh, lookup tables. We're gonna look at that in another video, not here. So for now, we just need to know that this pipe here is one inch and this pipe here is uh, three quarters of an inch. So we do create similar. And then this one inch valve is good for here. So we can put it here on the riser if we want. Uh, or we could actually 
place it here. I think it's a little bit cleaner for the reviewer to see it. So let's just remove this valve from here and just put it here. So this is the main isolation valve for the water heater. And then we know this one's three quarters. So create similar, try to place it wherever you feel comfortable. And so let me, oh, see, I put the one inch. So I introduced the, the reducers. That's not what we want. What we want is the three quarter inch. That's the valve we need. So. And one thing I miss here is that if our hot water demand to the hot water fixtures is such that our pipe exit in the water heater is uh, three quarters of an inch, then the inlet pipe to the water heater should also be three quarters of an inch. And I don't think that's what we had. Let me see. Yeah, so we had one inch. So the way to fix that is we click on this pipe right here and then we do a quick tap select here so we can select the whole run. Notice that we are selecting the, the valve as well, so we cannot change the size. So you can either do filter and remove the valve, or you can do shift and left click, and then you would deselect the valve. This would allow us to change to three quarters of an inch. And then finally, we can select our valve and change it to three quarters of an inch. And then finally, we have to join this two and go back to our to our riser our main cold water riser so this line would connect here this doesn't have to be that high actually this could be on the same plane so let's do that if you do tr you can heal this gap here and then you know that this is an elevation of three feet. So we can take this pipe and bring it down to three feet. And then we can do trim extend or simply, you know, grab it from here and connect it. And uh, now we go to a riser. So I'm gonna draw my pipe here and let's drop it to, you know, zero feet. And I know that this Riser is probably going to be a larger size. We're going to size it a little bit later. And so for now, I'm going to keep it this this same size, and then we will resize it one, once we have all the information. Draw pipe and say to whatever 10 feet, and then apply. So that's my main riser. So on top of this apartment, I'm going to have the same thing connecting to that riser. For now, let's make that riser two inches and then we'll refine with our calculations. So I'm going to select all this, set it to two inches, just to have something logical there. Okay. And now let's hit the um, sanitary drainage. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you like it down there. Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you get notified. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.